Members, and I am very excited to go over the assignment for your class. So for this assignment, you guys are going to be asked to actually practice what you're learning. So that means some of you volunteered for Facebook and others of you volunteered for Instagram, but this is what I am asking you guys to do. First, let's go over the purpose of the assignment. The purpose of the assignment is to basically figure out how to A, get more people to see a post either on Facebook or on Instagram. And then also number two, to educate people about the different happenings that are happening in the communication department. So whether you are a communication major or whether you are a friend of the communication studies department, I want you guys to know that this exercise, this experience will, pre will prepare you for different social media experiences that you will have have um, during the next few years. So here's an example. So I have the weeks for August the 17th through 23rd, August the 24th through 30th, August the 31st through September the 6th. So they are all focused on back to school because y'all, just to be honest with you, it took that long to make a transition for a lot of us to transition from a um, work at home, a stay at home environment to a back to school environment. So the sign up sheet that you guys did the first week was focused on um, like what you would like to do. So some people signed up for Facebook. And so that was under this column. It says, I will like, I would like to serve as Facebook content generator from Monday through Wednesday. And then other people signed up. I would like to be the Facebook content generator for Thursday through Saturday. So this basically means that you're coming up with three days of content for Facebook. So if you're on Facebook, what I want you to do, and only a few people, I think only four people signed up for Facebook. So what I want you to do, if this is your week, I want you to actually come up with content focused on that weekly topic. So, um, and I'll show you what those weekly topics are in a couple of moments. The next piece is some of you signed up for, oops, some of you signed up for Instagram. And so with the folks who signed up for Instagram, this is what I am wanting you to do. Obviously, um, having everyone with the username and password for Instagram would be interesting, so we're not going to do that. But what we are going to do is to come up with a um, with different posts that you can post on your personal profile about the communication department topic for that week. You only have to do three days. So say if you have been assigned to Monday, then you are posting content for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And if you signed up to post content on Instagram for Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, then you can do that as well. Um, so basically, for example, let's go back to the topics. Here are the topics, and I'm gonna make these a little bit larger so you can see them. Okay, so here are the topics. So the topics are back to school for week one, week two, week three, and week four. Topic five is encouragement for communication majors. And so that's week five. And so we have two students assigned to Facebook for week five and two students assigned to Instagram for week five. So basically it's three days of encouragement for communication majors. So the person who signed up for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, they um, needed to post three days of content for the communication majors. So those people who signed up for Facebook definitely need to join the the communication lab page that I sent you to you guys this week and last week on Mondays, just check the email for Monday and you just sign up for that group and you will post your post in that group and I will share it out on the communication page. The people who are on Instagram basically just have to post three days of content for Instagram encouraging communication majors. So day one might be, and you know what? Let's actually write the content. So day one, day two, day three. So day one could possibly focus on, it's Monday, but let's start the week strong. And 
let's make this week the best week so far. Okay, so, so that you guys can see exactly what I typed, that is what I typed. So if you want to put a graphic, maybe a, a, you know, when I think about the new week, I'm thinking about like maybe a calendar or maybe I'm thinking about a, um, a sun coming up, like the dawn of the week. Maybe that's just me, but you can say um, for day one, maybe that is your encouragement. For Tuesday, um, you can say, hey, you've got, you guys have reached Tuesday. What's one thing, and always um, incorporate questions as well. What's one thing you are super excited about this week? Okay, so we are going to wrap that around. And then the next one would be Wednesday, if I were responsible for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And so Wednesday could, um, you know it's hump day. So Wednesday, um, maybe, we'll put a y'all. Y'all, it's Wednesday. And we've almost made it. Oops, to the end of the week. What is one to big to do list item you need to accomplish before Friday? Okay, so we have three days of content. So all they have to do is copy that, paste that on the Facebook group. I look in and they have to tag me and I look in, I'm like, okay, that looks great. And I will post, um, I will schedule posts for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday from the Facebook group page that we have. So that is the Texas Social Media Lab page. So that is what you do for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And if you're responsible for Wednesday, for Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, you do the same thing, adopt the same format. So whether it is on Instagram or Facebook, um, Instagram, you just post it to your profile and tag me. I am at DRJT Edwards. And if you are on Facebook, just post it on the lab and I will schedule that to go on the Facebook page. All right, so here are the other topics. So the other topics are week six is um, focused on canvas secrets and tips. Week seven is focused on things to consider when taking a midterm, which is huge because you think about people's pain points that they experience and how you can address those on social media. So midterms are coming up around the seventh week. So you want to make sure that you help um, communication majors and students at Tarleton know what to consider when taking a midterm. Week eight is keeping healthy during midterms. Week nine is focused on encouragement for communication majors. Week 10 is focused on things communication majors need to know. Week 11 is focused on internships and communication internships and why you need one. Week 12 is focused on internships, how to find one. Week 13 is focused on how to find a job in the communication field. Week 14 is communication professors at Tarleton and their research. I know it's not like super exciting, but you know, the story needs to be told and I can help you guys with that too. And then week 15 is um, focused on things to consider from preparing for finals. So you guys, let's think outside of the box. This is, um, for some of you, this is your first campaign ever on social media. So I'm excited about that. We're going to start small, but you are actually posting this content. So on Facebook, you're posting it on the pay on the group and then I'm scheduling it for you. And then on Instagram, you are posting it those three days and then you are tagging me so I can see your post and grade them. All right, guys. So if you have any questions moving forward, this is Dr. Jennifer Edwards, and I will be happy to answer your questions. And I'm excited about this week's assignment. Let me know um, how I can help and I'll be happy to do so. Bye, guys.